Hello everyone, it's me Mara Distillier with Hope Life Excel Shore. Welcome back to my channel, Myra Homes, where I share trends, news, insights regarding real estate. For all of those who have already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you all. It's, it means so much to me. And for all of those who are just visiting the first time, please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you will never miss any updates. Hello everyone, again welcome back to my channel Myra Holes, where I share insights, news, trends regarding real estate. But today I'm going to share with you regarding the difference between owning and renting. Which one is the best? Um, is it uh, just keep on renting or just need to purchase something? We'll be differentiating the uh, advantages and the disadvantages of owning. So stay tuned. So which is best? Is it better to rent or buy a home? Well, most adults ask themselves this at some point as they form their goals and plan for the years ahead. Before we answer the question, here are some things to ask ourselves. Owning and renting each have their advantages, but what is best for you depends on your circumstances. So these are the questions that you're going to ask. Are you financially ready? Do you think the house is a need or want? Or is it as an investment in your retirement plan? So what will be the duration of your stay in the home? And uh, are you prepared for the down payment? Um, can you afford the monthly payment or the monthly mortgage and its components? So are you emotionally ready? And are you ready for commitment? So these are the things that you're going to ask yourselves if you are considering to own or to rent. So what are the advantages of buying a home? First, you will be controlling over housing expense. By selecting a fixed rate mortgage, the homeowner assures that the housing costs will not increase for the next five years. So mortgages are renewed after five years at current rate of interest. Second, you build your equity. Some of each monthly mortgage payment goes toward the loan's interest. So other portions may go toward property, taxes to the city, and the remainder pays down the loan principal. So every dollar you put towards your loan's principal represents a dollar of equity. So you are building your equity than rent. Third, improvements increase your home value. A homeowner can also increase a home's value through some home improvements, renovations, thus both making your home more comfortable and enjoyable while growing its loan-to-value ratio. And fourth, it will be tax advantage of home ownership. So there are significant tax benefits associated with buying a house, both at the time of purchase and for the duration of time you own the home. And then next will be current mortgage rates are relatively low, especially these days. So interest rates vary through the years, and but if you get the fixed rate, then that rate will not go up, will not go down, your monthly payment will stay the same. So it is rel relatively low. Next is, of course, your ownership and freedom. The ownership rights and you have the freedom to decorate because it's your home, it's your house. So these are just one of the few advantages of buying a home. So what are the advantages of renting? The very first advantage of renting is, of course, there's no responsibility for any maintenance. Admittedly, this is a big one. As a renter, you're not responsible for home maintenance or repair cost. And then, um, you don't have to call an expensive repair person. So you just call your landlord or superintendent. And then renters in condos, townhouses, or apartments do not have lawn and grounds care obligations. So second is relocating is easier. When renting, 
relocating for work is easier. Though a sudden move may require you to break your lease, you can partially offset the cost by subletting your apartment or talking with your landlord. The third, there is no real estate market exposure. Home values fluctuate and can decline over time. And if you're a renter, then that's not a problem for you. If you're not owner trying to sell, then it is. So what are the disadvantages of owning a home? So first is maintenance. Of course, we need to maintain our house. We have to have our lawn care, snow removal, and everything. Gutter cleaning and other regular home maintenance needs. Second, when buying a home, we have upfront and closing costs. This includes our down payment, deposit, which uh, typically ranges from 5% to 20%. Of the purchase price and then sometimes there's home appraisal home inspection and property taxes the third is loss of relocation flexibility well it is much easier to break a lease and move out of town than than to arrange for the sale of a residence so these are just some of the disadvantages of owning and what are the what are the disadvantages of renting well first there is no equity building. The monthly rent just go to the landlord and it represents the fee you pay for using the property. Second, home improvements go to the landlord also. So any structural decorative home improvements that renters make belong to the building owner and will have to stay behind when you move to a different place. So it's not yours, still theirs. So after all is said, the decision to buy or rent depends on the prospective home buyer circumstances. So there is much to consider when you want to buy a home. Switching from renting to home ownership is highly challenging, but an exciting and amazing decision to make. So owning a first home or first house is the first step in the direction toward the home we've all been dreaming of. So because at the end of the day, as we all know, there is no place like home. So that's all folks. Hope this gives value to all of you. And for all of those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you will never miss any updates. Please stay tuned. I have recorded a short video for all of you guys. And as always, peace and love. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Till next time.